Hi, this is Nikhil Hasija, Senior Product Manager for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And this week, I'm talking to Sid, who is the Program Manager responsible for bringing visualizations and dashboards into CRM 2011. Hi, Sid. Why don't you describe your role for us? Hi, uh, I'm a Program Manager in the Microsoft India Development Center. And for the past three years, I have been working on the charts and dashboards features for CRM 2011. Okay, right off the bat, Sid, I'll start with the reaction I get when I present visualizations and dashboards. Our users and managers absolutely love it, and they can think of many ways that they can use these capabilities. Now, compared to where we were and where our competition is, this is a huge step forward. What made us think about visualizations in such a way? So we thought about this problem, and we wanted to bring the analytics capabilities right to the place where users did their work. If users are used to seeing a list of data inside CRM, that's where they want their analysis and their charts and their analytics, right? If users are seeing a list, uh, 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 a very logical thing to do with the list is to show a chart beside the list uh, that, uh, uh, that represents the list in some manner. So that's where the story started. The part that's cool is that you can drill through the charts and the data changes along with it. Yeah, so when we started thinking about the charts, uh, we started from the list and we thought about what are the like, what are the main operations that users would want to do on this list. And and, and then two operations jumped out uh, that people would uh, uh, that people would have to do on on a list. The first was the ability to group and aggregate the data in some manner, and the second was the ability to apply filters uh, on this list in some manner. And then we thought, wouldn't it be cool if, if these two capabilities could be clubbed together into one? And that is the drill down that we are talking about. And once you've created a chart, you can share it in many ways, right? Yeah, so there is sharing at multiple levels. Uh, if, if we think about system-owned charts and system-owned dashboards, these are shared with all users in the org. Uh, and if we think about user-owned charts or user-owned or user -owned dashboards, these can be shared with any other user in the org. Not only other users, these can also be shared with other teams. And there is sharing uh, at an entirely different level if you can export out the XML definition of a chart and then import it back into some other CRM system. So this even allows you to share the chart definition across, uh, across different CRM instances. What's more interesting with this capability of exporting into XML and importing uh, is that if we, after exporting it out, if you make some modifications into the chart, you can you can bring in you can bring in custom chart types into the CRM system. Yeah, so that's when the story gets more and more uh, exciting for us. Uh, uh, so we thought about like, do we want to keep the experience restricted only to lists where users are seeing a chart of uh, uh, like where users are seeing a chart next to the list, and then we thought, wouldn't it be nice uh, if we could if we could if we could club together a bunch of different charts on a single page, and that becomes your dashboard, right? So a, a dashboard not only allows you to show uh, it not only allows you to show different charts on a single page, but you can also show other lists. Uh, you can include iframe content. You can include the web resources that have been introduced in CRM 2011 all on a single page and like that there could be multiple dashboards in the system and these dashboards can be created in a very easy in, in a very easy point and click customization style it's uh, so that's the dashboard editor that uh, I'm talking about and that's very fun and easy to use okay Sid how about giving us a demo of these capabilities so let's start from the CRM landing page or the home page the CRM landing page is a dashboard that has been designated to be the home page. CRM dashboards can show charts, grids, iframes, and web resources. The drill downs can be directly done from the charts shown on the dashboard. So consider the scenario where we have a sales manager who wants to understand uh, how and when the hot leads in the system have been generated. So like starting from this chart that shows leads by rating on the open leads view, uh, the red region in the chart shows the hot leads uh, inside CRM. 
and the sales manager wants to understand how and when these hot leads have been created. A single click on the red region allows a sales manager to do that analysis. He is going to select the created on attribute as his view by attribute and the chart type for seeing the results is a line chart and clicking on OK produces uh, it gives him the answer as to as to when the hot leads uh, in the system have been gen have been generated and and like this a uh, any user who is using charts on uh, inside CRM can do multiple levels of drill down uh, to do the kind of analysis that he is interested in so going back to the main dashboard uh, if starting from here a user needed to do further analysis uh, on on this chart and this data uh, he can he can always navigate to the underlying view behind this chart and that is going to show him all the records that were used for creating this chart and also uh, and also this chart itself there alongside uh, that list so uh, and, and the same analysis that we saw earlier being done on the dashboard of being able to do a drill down that can also be done here. So uh, as, uh, as I mentioned before, we have the list and the chart. And if we needed to do the same analysis with the hot leads, uh, the sales manager wanting to understand how and when these hot leads have been generated, we do that drill through again. And let's see what happens to the list this time when you do that drill through. Right. Our our view by attribute was the created on date for these leads and the chart type was a line chart. Clicking on OK is going to up is not only going to update the chart, but is also going to update the grid uh, to show you only those records which have like which fulfill which belong to the hot leads category. So earlier when we had 58 records, the entire list has now been filtered to show seven records here. So let's try creating a chart uh, which is going to be used by a sales manager to understand how the leads uh, in uh, to understand the fiscal period in which the leads have been generated. We choose the horizontal field of the charts as the created on date and we'll select the date grouping as the fiscal period. And we want to look at the only the count of leads. So we select any attribute, say count. And we are going to call this chart leads by fiscal. And on saving this, this chart is ready. And, and we can do the, the entire analysis of applying filters and, and doing drill downs. It can now be it can now be done on this chart which we have just created here. Right, it is drillable, and all the filters, uh, all the filters which are available on this list can be applied on this chart as well. And likewise, creating a new dashboard is also easy by clicking on this new here. A layout like this is going to be very useful, which has one tall component and the remaining uh, square boxes. And this opens the designer in which we create our dashboard, and uh, and by adding charts and components into this, uh, we can have our dashboard ready. So if we select the first chart where we want uh, the funnel, that's going to be the opportunities chart, right? And we'll have our funnel show there, right? And change the view to open opportunities, right? And we and we are going to add two more charts for opportunities, and we'll add two charts for leads, right? And and this time, uh, and and this time with the opportunities, we want to see the top ten customers, and also the top ten opportunities, right? So our opportunity charts are ready and with and with the leads we want to see they're created on date right 
we'll just say all open leads right and we want to see the leads by their source campaign right and now our dashboard is ready and giving a name to this dashboard we call it the leads and opportunities dashboard we save it and in the th in the screen in the background this dashboard has already been updated right there you go you see the dashboard that we have just created right so that was a quick demo that we had for the charts grids and filters features which we are introducing in crm 2011 Wow, Sid, these inline visualizations are really cool and useful. To our users and managers, try these visualizations out as you saw in the demo. They work equally well in the web client as they do in Outlook. Until next time, thank you.